Okay. Hello, welcome back to Pain in the Brain. Where okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always tell you like to say hello, welcome back, and you're like, I'm, I'm... hello, hello. Is there somebody there? <laughs> ah. Hello. We just say hello. Is it um, me? <laughs> we were reading uh, the best poem ever last time. Oh we, yeah. The poem about the sun coming through the window, hitting us on the on the face, making waking us up numb. Us. Yeah, making us, it was rub on my eyes, it was leaping us out of my eyes. So now we're going to read another one. Uh, which one do you want to read now? Oh yeah. Um... Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to read the Batman one, but I want to read the Monica one too. I'm really curious about because I think Yuri is gonna like write something really proper. Yeah. And Natsuki is probably going to be something really cute, but imagine that with the Batman boy. And Monica, I think, is going to be like something normal. Okay, let's go with Monica then. Her pain of time. Oh, having a good time so far. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're like like new and everything, uh, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like sleeping time, like new activities or things we like can do better, I'm always listening. No, I'm not. Don't be afraid to bring things up. No, don't don't bring them. I will not listen. All right, I'll <laughs> keep that in mind. To your your to yourself. <laughs> Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Yeah, you're gonna get your ass beat. I'm much better of just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. You better. You know, like a sheep following yeah. orders. That's good. I like that in a relationship. <laughs> Why? Follow my orders. <laughs> follow the leader, 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 follow. Uh, anyway. Want to share your poem with me, like, or something? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Don't worry, pain of time. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Like, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, you haven't read it. It sucks. This this doesn't work even as, as toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you have to burn this shit. <laughs> um, um, I seen bare memes than this. <laughs> I seen bare memes. <laughs> I like it being a time like whoa. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> it's I like cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki will write. Oh, yeah. Remember that we were writing it? And, oh, and, and Batman was jumping. Yeah, and, and she was the one that got more points, actually. Oh, we should read it to, to, to Batman. Yeah. And she's a good writer, too. Like, ugh. So take that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, take it off. <laughs> by any chance, have you read anything by Shiel Silverstein? Huh? What? Say, say what? The... Maybe a long time ago. Oh, you, saw... you liar. I... I, I saw the Rocky movie. <laughs> the <laughs> I saw the Rocky movie with Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. He's quite a poet with his hands. Does that count? Like the Rambo movies? Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, he, he's a poet. He <laughs> was a poem. Uh, um, okay, go ahead. Uh, he was a famous boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he fight for Vietnam. <laughs> he fight against Draco. Hey, they called him Rambo. <laughs> Oh no, that was his name. John Rambo. No, 
He was famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny and endearing, endearing. or even sad. That's life. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might. It was like a Garfield strip. <laughs> 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 I know. There's a lot of people who hate them. <laughs> okay, go ahead. They might even feel like they're right written, written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that will only apply apply to anybody. Ah, ah, you see. I see. <laughs> you see that as the. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. Like Naruto? <laughs> I haven't watched Naruto. Yeah, but it has filler. Well, amount of f amounts and amounts of filler. Um, okay, going like back. Like bleach? Yeah, to you. Go ahead. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it will be your kind of point to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. <laughs> you slut. It could take a while. <laughs> I, I, I just don't want to settle up yet. I want to try more. <laughs> It, it could, I want to explore my sexuality. Um, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style it suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit... What? Biased? Biased. That's biased? Yeah. That's how you write it? Yes. Oh my, oh okay, towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. The, the <laughs> yeah, game yeah, puts right. you that option. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Monica, you know, <laughs> you know, I have to impress all of you girls. Anyway, do you want to read my poem? No. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Which have you seen me? I'm the president. I mean, well, that's because I have to sound confident. <clears throat> That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> With my eyes. Then I can see you, your face. <laughs> that's a poem right there. <laughs> that's a poem. You're an artist. Like Sylvester Stallone poems. Oh, Short. <laughs> he knocks you in the face. He knocks you with just one sentence. Oh, yeah. Well, let's read it then. Adrian. <laughs> okay, go ahead and read it. Hole in the wall? Yes. There was a hole here. Now it's gone. That's from Silent Hill. <laughs> hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction this sparkle produced. What the? <laughs> huh? A noisy neighbor? Huh? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, I blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it is too late. My retinas already scorched with the with the permanent copy of the meaningless image is just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices I realize now that I wasn't looking in I was looking out and he on the other side was looking in okay like that's kind of creepy so it, it sounds like somebody's leaving like I want to think that that's like random like 
whatever they write, but it sounded like her body uh -huh. is nothing inside of her body. And there's someone beside her who's looking to her body, like from her head. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. It um, sounds like she's like a lot of personality, like she knows something. Maybe she knows something, maybe not. It sounds like that. Okay. Like she's acting. Okay, maybe we're going to learn something. Go ahead, read. So what do you think? Trash. Hmm, it's, be, it's very free form. Is that's what you call it? Free form? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. You suck. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of the poems have been putting em, em, how do you say that? Emphasis. Emphasis? Yes. On the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, I can be really powerful. <laughs> I wasn't, I couldn't read. Yeah, you couldn't read. What was the inspiration behind this one? Your face? Um, a cartoon. Well, I'm not sure if you know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of epiphany recently. See? See? What? He's a robot from the future. I came for you, John Connor. I'm here to kill you. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff that, like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try too, so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is if you sleep, oh no, if you keep, <laughs> yeah, tired. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All yeah, right. she sounds Who, cool. Who else poem should we read now? Natsuki, because I want to hear Batman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? uh, oh, okay. Um, let's start with... The, what it's done I don't like? Yes. What? Like Like she's like she's not gonna read her poem. Yeah, she, she read or poem first. Oh okay, she already she, read She's talking about or poem. Oh okay. I, I was like, why? I just want you to read my stuff. Like I don't want to have a relationship with you. Not now. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, um, um. Natsuki rereads my poem. Rereads? What? <gasps> Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Really? Then what was the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this poem. Uh, I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ooh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ooh. <laughs> She's like a monkey. <laughs> well, I will be more comfortable, comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. Oh, okay. She's not me. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go. Oh, well, it's not. That great, but let me show you what real literature what real literature looks like. And you and and ruin it, ruin it, ruin it, ruin it, ruin it. Yes. 
<laughs> I hope you're happy. Hmm. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki retort gets caught in her throat. Oh, yeah, she read it twice, right? Yes. Oh, she likes it. She's embarrassed to say that she likes it. <gasps> you're so... Uh, you just... You, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You have to go announce it to the world. <laughs> to the world, like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Yeah. Natsuki must really hate me or something. Yeah. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <laughs> never. <gasps> Fun, guys. Is the Batman trailer? I write it down. Only because Monica will make me if what? Will make me if I don't. Okay, and we're going to read her like really short poem uh, next time. It is really short. It is really short. So we're going to read it next time. Bye bye, guys. Next time. Next time. Okay. Bye. bye.